Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hi, I'm Mike Collins, astronaut on Apollo 11. Fifty years ago, I went on an adventure which took Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to the surface of the moon for the first time in history. While I stayed in orbit 60 miles above them in the command module, which would eventually bring us all home. After a big breakfast, our rocket lifted off in the morning of July 16th, 1969. Neil, Buzz, and I felt the weight of the world on our shoulders. It took around 400,000 people to land humankind on the moon. From engineers to computer programmers to the people who sewed airtight spacesuits. We thought our onboard computer was very sophisticated, but in fact it had less computing power than what we all carry around in our pockets today. NASA worked with three antennas around the Earth, one in Spain, one in Australia, and one in California. So our team in Houston could see us any time and tell what our trajectory should be no matter which way the Earth was turned. We were in constant sunlight between the Earth and the Moon. In order to regulate the temperatures on Apollo 11, we had to perform a maneuver which some called a barbecue roll in which we rotated sideways like a chicken on a spit. The first time we saw the moon up close, it was a magnificent spectacle. It was huge. The sun was coming around it, cascading and making a golden halo and filled our entire window. As impressive as the view was of this alien moon seen up close, it was nothing compared to the sight of the tiny Earth. The Earth was the main show, the Earth was it. After a tense descent in which they almost ran out of fuel, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon on July 20th, 1969. Neil and Buzz set up an American flag in a plaque that read, Here men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969 A.D. We came in peace for all mankind. Behind the moon I was by myself, all alone but not lonesome. If you counted, there were three billion plus two people on one side and me on the other. I felt very comfortable back there. I even had hot coffee. We arrived back on Earth on July 24th, 1969 and landed in the Pacific Ocean. We were invited to take a tour around the world and I was amazed that everywhere we went, people would say, we, we did it. We, you and me, the inhabitants of this wonderful earth, we did it. Houston, uh, Mike Collins on Apollo 11. Thank you so much for joining me today. Mike Collins out.